Welcome back to the channel, today's headline. The couple made the landmark decision last year to leave the royal family behind and set up home across the pond in a bid to live a financially independent life away from the monarchy. Since then they have spent a fortune on a host of new luxuries, such as a mansion in Montecito, an exclusive beachside neighborhood around two hour drive north of Los Angeles. While they have managed to secure a string of lucrative deals with platforms such as Netflix and Spotify, Harry spoke out in March to Oprah Winfrey about how he was financially cut off from his family. This prompted a response from Prince Charles, spokesperson, who said when the Clarence House financial account for the years were released in June that the Sussexes received a substantial sum on their exit and that they were funded up to the summer of 2020. But commentators are questioning how happy bosses at Netflix and Spotify could be after only a handful of content plans have been confirmed. Among these include just one podcast release for Spotify, a festive edition that saw the young son Archie make his first public words, and two projects for Netflix. The two Netflix projects include one by Meghan, who will be producing an animated series called Pearl. Meanwhile, Harry's contribution will, be, will include a documentary on the Invictus Games, the sports competition for wounded ex-servicemen and women. But as the deal was signed nearly a year ago, some critics have argued that Netflix could be expecting a bit more from their reported hundred million pound investment in the couple. These include royal commentators Daniel Alsa. When the Sussexes do start unveiling their slate of TV and podcasting projects, they will get one shot. That's it. One chance to impress audiences and make their mark either in terms of streaming figures or critical plaudits. When the novelty and the luster of working with members of the royal family wears off, if they don't have streaming counts or a clutch of awards to show for themselves, then will their contracts be renewed? Essentially, they will have a brief window to prove they are worth the hundreds of millions that corporate behemoths have bet on them. No pressure now or anything. The fact is, even billion dollar companies can't afford to keep plowing truckloads of cash into two very, very famous contractors if they do not prove to be a sound investment. Eyebrows were raised after the Sussexes were accused of profiting from their links to the royal family with critics claiming the pair have limited production experience and would likely be unable to secure such a deal without their titles. No doubt then, their reported $35 million deal with Spotify would also have been reviewed by insiders at the palace. And similar scrutiny was placed on the deal by Eric Schiffer, chairman of Reputation Management Consultants. He told Newsweek last year that the deal would be based upon performance kickers, but admitted that while the contract was great for them, it was terrible for the monarchy because they are choosing to sell it at fire sale prices. He concluded, I think they are systematically benefiting from the halo of the monarchy. If Harry wasn't involved, no one would care about this, if she didn't have the royal ties. There's this reckless war on the pristine historical brand that has represented the people of England for centuries. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.